I think remdesivir is one of many drugs that are being tried to inhibit the virus and to try to help people with the disease. There are a lot of different drugs. Remdesivir is a particular drug that can actually inhibit the virus from proliferating. And so it stops it right in its tracks. And that's excellent because it's already been shown in some animal models and previously with other diseases that are viral diseases to inhibit those viruses. So there's a lot of hope and promise that remdesivir might work in the case of COVID-19. Well, we know Stanford is one of three dozen sites around the world participating in this clinical trial. Tell me, why would a patient want to be a part of this study? Yeah, so I think any patient that goes into a clinical study is a hero and has a lot of courage. And the reason why someone might want to go into this study is because with COVID-19, there are a lot of different symptoms that can harm someone. And it's best to be able to try to treat medicine that can stop the virus. And so with that in mind, it's best to have any medicine that's overseen by a physician and a clinician. And in this case, it's a clinical trial for a new drug that could get FDA approved. And so that's really exciting for patients to be part of. And then in addition, there might be a benefit for them. Did remdesivir ever get stopped like, as far as the distribution goes for COVID-19? Yeah, that's a good question. There was some confusion about that. But importantly, the company that makes remdesivir is allowing it to be used for something called expanded access, which for those cases where people really need the drug, it's possible to get for them. And that's really wonderful. So talk about the potential side effects of this drug. Yeah, so any drug, one has to really look into any side effects, and this one in particular as well. Uh, it's used IV, that means intravenously, so it's helpful to have it in a hospital setting. And with that, the drug is relatively safe, and it could have some effect in the kidney and the liver, so we always watch for that, but it's not that it has any more side effects than what we're usually typically used to dealing with. Okay, and are you hopeful about this? I am very hopeful about it. I'm really excited to work with teams of people at Stanford to be able to test new drugs to deliver on that hope and promise of medicines for COVID-19 during this crisis. All right, Dr. Nadeau with Stanford Healthcare, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. And remember, every Monday right here on CBSN Bay Area, we have a physician from Stanford Healthcare joining us. Just tune in next week for a new discussion.